The following is a selected video from MasterTheContent.com where you will find an extensive video library of lectures for a variety of standardized admission tests. We offer over 600 hours of detailed video lectures for a multitude of standardized tests. Use our interactive in-lecture table of contents to find specific topics of interest. Work through numerous in-lecture examples to help you internalize concepts. To learn more, visit MasterTheContent.com. Your career, our passion. Reduced from this cycle. So that's what we're going to do in the next slide. So the product of one revolution, one turn, one cycle per molecule of acetyl coins MA, that's really important. I'm going to emphasize that per molecule of acetyl coins MA is one molecule of coins MA, three molecules of NADH, one molecule of FADH2, the reduced form of flavin adenine dinucleotide, which is also referred to as hydroquinone, the reduced form of quinone, and two molecules of carbon dioxide, and also one molecule of GTP, guanosine triphosphate. So those are the products that are produced per molecule of acetyl coenzyme A. But remember, for each molecule of glucose that goes through glycolysis, we produce two molecules of a pyruvate. And each of those molecules of pyruvate are then fed into the mitochondria where they're converted into acetyl coins MA. So we have two molecules of acetyl coins MA produced per molecule of glucose. So if we're thinking about this cycle, per molecule of glucose, we'd be talking about two complete revolutions because two molecules of acetyl coins MA will have to go through the cycle per molecule of glucose, glucose that was used to generate the acetyl coins MA. And in that case, when we're talking about two complete cycles per molecule of glucose, the products are obviously doubled. So we have two molecules of coins MA, two of guanosine triphosphate, six of NADH, two of uh, hydroquinone or FADH2, and four of carbon dioxide. So as you can see, it's very important to make that distinction because you might get confused and a lot of questions might try to trick you in this way. So if we're talking about per molecule of acetyl coins MA, which is one revolution around the cycle, the products that are formed is one molecule of coenzyme A right here, three molecules of NADH, one of FADH2, two of carbon dioxide, CO2, and one of GTP. But if we're talking about per molecule of glucose, which produces two molecules of acetyl coenzyme A, then all those products will be doubled, and we're talking about two of acetyl coenzyme A, two of guanosine triphosphate, six of NADH, two of hydroquinone or FADH2, and four of carbon dioxide. So it's important for you to remember that and make that distinction. So what we're going to do to complete this lecture is we're